26 for the win. Spin fire is locked and loaded. Now Larson is the last to link up. Set to go now. This is race two in KL. Stand by. 1,200 metres the journey. Bit of a problem to the outside by the looks of things. Oh, there's one going off in the in the gates. Looks to be Golden Craftsman, and there it is. It's uh, actually parted company with a jockey. And one of the barrier boys, he didn't want to get run over. He got out of its way very quickly. And in the meantime, Golden Craftsman has parted company there with jockey Rosani, who was still in the gates, and uh, now Golden Craftsman is running loose. And uh, he's about to work his way down the side of the track. So Golden Craftsman was showing around 161 for the win. So there is a slight delay here for race two on the program this afternoon. As this horse hopefully will be waved in back into the uh, saddling enclosure. Well, hopefully it is. Uh, most of them seem to uh, find their way back home. No worries about that. These horses have a good sense of direction, that's for sure. And uh, this time I think he's about to find his way back. And uh, yes, he's back in the saddling enclosure now as we speak. Hopefully he will be recaptured as soon as possible. In the meantime, some of these runners have moved out of the gates, including Spinfire, Aussie Eagle and also Larson. So obviously... They can become quite fizzy standing around in the gates for a prolonged period. Now this run is still the uh, Golden Craftsman. He's still running loose in the yard here. So they, uh, he's yet to be recaptured. I think he will eventually. And uh, I'll say he might be a late scratching because the other runners are about to move up again. Aussie Eagle is about to come forward. The other runner out of line is Spinfire. So in the meantime, number nine is still in the market as we speak, but I'd say it'll be a late scratching. We've had no confirmation as yet as Spinfire moves up. So we wait upon Larson to move in. Golden Craftsman still is in the market there on the tote. As I was saying, was one of the outsiders in the in the field. So it's a late scratching, number nine. The other runners have moved away. The 11 starters now for race two in KL. Stand by. The flag is up. Just about ready. And there they go. They're off and they're racing. Oh, one scrambled out of the barriers. Puravi's missed it by nearly a dozen lengths. And away fast is Larson in search of the lead and eventually crosses with Spinfire moving up to its outside and then came Elf Streamer. Also on the charge is Aussie Eagle. Racing wide at, uh, in the initial stages there was Astro Man from De Great Empress and Full Bet. They were followed by Watt and next along Swift outside Mr Connery and a dozen lengths away doing the chasing Puravi after that slow getaway. Down the side they work, just over 600 metres to run. And Larson shows the way from Spinfire. And Astro Man makes a line of three. Behind the speed, Elfstream in company there with Aussie Eagle. They were followed by D Great Empress. And then came what, Mr Connery. From Full Bet and further back to Swift. And last is Puravi, but down the lane. And Larson kicked away from them and got away from Spinfire. They were followed by Elfstream. Now here's Aussie Eagle staying on down the outside and further back to Astro Man. 150 metres to go. It's Larson in the clear. Here's Aussie Eagle trying to claw back the margin with Elfstream. But Larson goes back to back. Two in a row for Larson. He wins by two lengths. Aussie Eagle second. Third over was Elfstream from D Great Empress and then Mr Connery Spinfire. They were followed by Swift and then came Astro Man. Uh, well back in the run, full bet, Puravi. And uh, Watts is one of the last over. And Golden Craftsman, number nine, was a late scratching. Jada Souza and Larson combining there in race number two. Virtually goes all the way. 15 and seven, the return there for number two, Larson. Aussie Eagle was closing off well down the outside, but goes down by... 
I'd say a length and three quarters to two on the line. Elf Stream was battling away back on the inside, but no match for the winner. And uh, they had their chances, Ant Larson. So the D'Souza brothers, Quinelling, uh, Quinella the race there with Josie D'Souza aboard Larson and El D'Souza aboard Aussie Eagle. Number 12, Elf Stream winds up third and fourth. We'll go the way of number one, D-Grade Empress, which also found the line well. Two, six, 12 and one official. Or well, they should be the official numbers. They're not confirmed at this stage, but uh, the favourite salutes there in race number two. And uh, Larson has had the three runs here in the country now for two victories, coming off that Penang win last start. And uh, Larson is a four-year-old Bay Gilding by Guillotine out of Jody, trained and raced by Simon Dunderdale, and was ridden by Josie D'Souza. 15 and 7 the return there for number 2 Larson, defeating number 6 Aussie Eagle, trained by S. Siva for K.L. Palm, the rider was El D'Souza. And a third is number 12 Elf Stream, Richard Lines for the Tivic Stable, ridden by W.W. W. Cheer. And fourth over, number 1 D. Great Empress, trained by Frank Maynard and ridden by R. Shafiq. It is 2, 6, 12 and 1 your numbers. After the running of race number two, and Larson now takes a record to uh, two wins from 16 starts. Has had uh, two wins from three starts here in Malaysia. And uh, going well, this horse, he'll be stepping up to class four grade the next time he goes around. And he'll, uh, he'll be uh, uh, quite uh, competitive at class four level, I think. Uh, gets in well with the lightweights and uh, should uh, prove hard to beat again in the coming future. He is racing well. And uh, he completely dominated that lineup this afternoon. So the time is 110.